Well, actually, this year at FSTEC, it's an exciting event. Uh, we are signing partnerships uh, with old partners and with new partners uh, for the digital substation, in, in fact. And we are releasing new products. So this is a digital substation event for FSTEC. We have our new standalone merging unit product, which is really innovative. It can also do breaker control, and we are very excited to release it this year and launch it here at Seagray. And we also have a new version of our system and data management tool, uh, which is actually helping now users to better optimize their operation and maintenance of their protection system. So it's a big year. Uh, partnerships with R&D labs and technology companies that will help us bring uh, the digital substation to our users. Well, uh, digital substations um, bring, uh, enable a new set of technologies um, in terms of non-conventional instrument transformers or cyber security, um, process closed technologies. This, this requires uh, new, new skills and new culture. So I think one of the key challenges is people. Of course, there are also interoperability issues, cybersecurity issues, but I think people is the, is the key challenge on, on these new solutions. Um, System Point is built on, the, on our latest version. So it builds uh, the main application of this. We had a revision of the entire user interface, so it make it easier and accessible for the um, user to uh, recover all the data and access the historical data. Um, we also included uh, improvements on the integration of uh, multiple hierarchical systems, so you can have a secure communication between the substation and the control center. We have an enhanced user notifications uh, system, and also an integration as a cyber secure uh, system um, logging infrastructure. And so instead of only monitoring um, some nameplating information, we can also monitor actual the protection relay settings. So we can go on near real time, connect to the device, and through standardized protocols like CC1850, gather the current running uh, operational settings. So this is completely um, ID independent, or at least vendor independent and actually provided with an historical overview of what are the protection functions, how are they running, and, and see if the, the protection functions are using actually the approved values for the, for the system. MC500 is a very flexible device. So it is prepared to be integrated in the overall pack system in several ways and in several possible as substation automation system architectures, as it enables different communication uh, architectures, uh, several types of time synchronization. So MC500 uh, enables to, to have real sm really smart primary assets uh, such, as, such as circuit breaker, switch gear or, or CT and VT. So, in fact, it's, a, it's a, a device that enables to collect more information about the system and to be integrated and interoperable with several devices from FASEC or other vendors in different architectures.